my name's Megan Henwood and I'm here to play a few of my songs and talk about songwriting and I have music, I suppose. They did a piece on me a few months ago um, and it was very nice and they've been very kind and supported since. Um, but this is the first gig I've done for them, so it's been exciting. In a rise, it was it was different. Um, I've just been top, on tour with a um, an old blues guitarist, so the uh, the average age of the audience was a hell of a lot older. Um, but they were amazing. It was really nice to see all their little smiling faces, and I was quite amazed at how how calm and you know when I was playing. If I had been that age listening to me, I probably would have been. Um, wriggling and fidgeting in my seat, so it was really nice that they were sort of quiet and, and appreciative, so it was lovely. White lights. Well, the song I sang this morning was um, quite a sort of light, airy tune about the stars and marshmallows and buttercups and stuff, um, so I decided I'd play a bit more of a, a gritty tune this afternoon, um, and I think... Um, well, what I was talking about this morning was more sort of just enjoying music and, and kind of having fun with it. But maybe this afternoon I might speak a bit more. A lot of them will be of the age where I started writing. So, um, And it was an amazing outlet for me at that age. And that's where I really, you can start channeling it and, and actually sort of helping your life a little bit. It sounds weird, but all those kind of emotions that you're going through and sort of horrible things that are happening and wonderful things that are happening all at once and you're not sure how to deal with it. Songwriting is quite a good way of, of outletting all those things. <clears throat> I talk about that. Don't need your glaze. When I was nine, I, um, in the town near where I live, um, in Henley, they do a big youth festival. Um, and it's a week-long thing and it's music, art, dance, sport, there's everything in this, um, in this theatre. It's a lovely theatre. And, um, and I wrote a song with my friend Rosie when we were nine years old called Do You Love Me? because we knew a lot about love at that age. And, um, and it was a chance for us to sort of sit, play on stage. We had a backing track and microphones and lights and all that kind of stuff. So it was a really exciting experience. And, um, and we won that. There was a songwriters competition. We won that. And that sort of was quite a big thing for me because I was like, oh, I just wrote a song with it. And the people liked it. So it was... Um, it was, yeah, that was quite a big experience for me, I suppose. It, it definitely is, because when you're that age, you're working out what you like. And, um, I think the earlier you start, the more confidence you can get, and the more you do it. And, and the more that it's kind of not just, obviously you do music as a subject, and you know you, you can do it as a GCSE, and that's great, but it needs to, be, it needs to go further than that. Because it's not just about whether you've got great grades and, and qualifications in it. It's about whether you can stand on a stage and do it and whether you're passionate about it. And, and like I said before, it's also an important outlet for, for people to kind of channel their emotions and things. Be happy. We used to look up at you in awe. Now we're looking down.